a victory for anti-government protesters. After months of violent clashes, Abdel Abdul Mahdi said he had no other choice but to resign as Iraq's prime minister. My resignation was essential to defuse the crisis and calm the situation in the country. I hope Parliament chooses a quick alternative because the situation in Iraq can't handle a caretaker government for long. His resignation has done little to calm anger. Protests over a high unemployment rate and a lack of basic services continued even after he announced he would go. Critics say the former prime minister is just one of several high-ranking officials who must step down. At first, Mahdi refused to resign, saying it would only add to the country's instability. Amid the crisis, hundreds of demonstrators have been killed in clashes with security forces. Thousands more have been injured. Demands for Mahdi's resignation only grew louder. He became prime minister in October 2018, at a time of unrest in the country. His government promised to make things better but said it needed more time. Time, however, was a luxury. Iraqi politics now moves into unchartered territory. The resignation of the prime minister automatically means the resignation of the entire cabinet. And this is the first time that this happens in Iraq, so the legal ways forward are not necessarily clear. But uh, one way or another, there has to be a new, the president has to give mandate to a new person or a new bloc in parliament to form a new government. It took Abdel Abdul Mahdi more than eight months to appoint his cabinet in 2018, with some accusing him of not cracking down on corruption fast enough. In a country fractured by decades of war, his supporters say changing the system was a process that could not be rushed. Now Iraq will begin a new era with a new leader. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.